Hey, today I want to talk about how to get your youth players to follow through. One of the things we see when kids throw is they always want to stop their arm in front, whether they're throwing, pitching, any throwing drills that they're doing. We really want to get them to concentrate on finishing their arm across their front leg. Okay? What we'll do here is we created a little drill now for one knee drill. I have my back leg knee on the ground, so as a right-handed throw, my right-handed knee is on the ground and my stride leg is out front, which is my left leg for me. I take the ball. I'm just going to put the ball right next to my toe on the outside. I want to go through my throwing motion. I'm going to start with my hands in my glove. I'm going to turn my shoulders and pivot to get to a closed position. I want to break my hands, stride, and get to a good power position. And again, the focus here is on getting our shoulders replaced, driving my front side down, and then replacing my back side over and across my front leg. So from here, we're going to simulate the throwing without throwing, and we do this as a dry drill, which means we do it without throwing. But we're going to simulate throwing, and upon release and finish, we get the kids to pick the ball up. And this is forcing them now to extend their hand to their target and finish across their body. A couple of things that we like to teach them. As we throw and finish, we often talk to our kids about finishing with a shark fin. And what this means is I take my front arm and I want to drive it down, take my glove, turn it into my hip so that my back elbow is pointed up. And as you can see from the side here, if I turn from a side angle, when I throw, I create a shark fin with my glove, elbow, and shoulder. So it's a neat little thing to talk to the kids about and helps them, helps them learn that. When I finish, again, we want the arm across the body and I'm replacing my shoulders. I go from my front shoulder pointed towards my target to my back shoulder, which is my throwing shoulder, to the target, and now I pick up the ball. And we do this with our kids every day as it can. We start off by doing 10 of these without throwing before we go into our form throwing drills so the kids learn to finish with their arms across their body and replace their shoulders.